is the new 2023 Challenger SRT Demon 170. And if you think it makes a badass entrance, just wait till you see how it leaves. We call it the 170 because it's 170 proof. The Demon 170 is the world's first production street legal drag car that runs, that runs on ethanol. Or gas, runs on ethanol or gas or any combination in between. It automatically recalibrates for maximum power regardless of the mixture you're running. Yeah, the 170 is the world's first environmentally friendly, sustainable energy powered muscle car. I'm serious. Ethanol fueled vehicles have a carbon footprint that's 20% lower than gas. But let's be real. The Demon 170 isn't going to save the polar bears, but it's clean enough to keep us out of trouble. I'm not going to promise that for any of you to buy one though. This is what happens when our team takes the infamous Demon and puts it on alcohol. Now for most, that would have been enough to call it a worthy last call. But this is more than a last call with alcohol. Normally at this point, the factory guy standing on stage will tell you about all the best in class features that none of you care about. The screen size, the miles per gallon, the cup holders, all that crap. But the Demon 170 has no class or segment for that matter, has no rules, and has no compromises. We took everything that that original Demon did that stood unrivaled for six years, and we turned it up to 11. Actually, more like 22, because that's how much boost we're pumping into this Hemi with a new three liter supercharger and a 105 millimeter throttle body. We're pumping so much air into this 6.2 Hemi that it took our cylinder pressures up to 2,500 PSI. That's 25% more than we were running on that Demon on race fuel. So to keep all the inside parts inside, we upgraded the entire engine. New block machining, new pistons, new rods, new crank, new bearings, new head machining for head studs. It even has billet steel main caps and a fluid dampener. This isn't regular production car stuff. This is full race technology. And it's what these engines needed to pass our durability and earn a full factory warranty. But then pushing all that power downstream, we started tearing up the drive line. So we installed a larger drive shaft, much larger drive shaft, 43 spline half shafts, a massive 240 millimeter differential, a new case, reinforced mounting, hardware, making it 50% stronger than that original Demon. And at the end of that power flow, we're spinning the trickiest set of wheels ever used on a production car. Others have used carbon fiber wheels before, but these wheels are an exclusive Lax Industries design using lightweight alloy center sections, titanium bolted to carbon fiber rims. These are true street legal road wheels that are actually lighter than full race alloys. Then we wrapped them, you probably already noticed, we wrapped them in massive 315, 50, 17 Mickey, Mickey Thompsons with 18s in the front. The stance on this car is pure drag car. And we no longer needed the front runners at the track. The significantly increased contact patch, sidewall, sidewall construction, and aggressive compound of these Mickeys allowed us to electronically and mechanically retune the suspension that was in the original car. We increased the compression in the rear by over 50% and we slowed down the rebound in the front to generate quicker forward movement at launch when it matters the most. And you're gonna love this. To make that launch even harder and more consistent, we completely redesigned the Demon's trans brake and launch mode. The new system allows you to electronically reshape the torque curve during acceleration and shifts right from the head unit to compensate for track conditions. Once the system is dialed in, you can go watt from green on a prep track. You no longer have to pedal this car at all. Now, I'm not sure how well this track is prepped. Obviously, we just had to drag it again, but we wouldn't build a car like this and bring you all out to the desert have you tune in on the live stream just to show you what it looks like coming in on a helicopter or sitting on the drag strip. 
So, who wants to see what it runs? The Demon 170 launches at over 2 Gs with 60 foot times in the 120s, runs 0 to 60 in a record NHRA certified 1.66 seconds. And the quarter mile in a record NHRA certified 8.9 seconds at 151. Yes. The Demon 170 is history's first eight-second factory muscle car. Producing 1,025 horsepower and 945 pound-feet of torque. The Demon 170 got us more than records and claims. It got us another letter from the NHRA. Yeah, banned again. But at least this time, the parachute will be available from direct connection as an option. Because we're Dodge. And that chute is more than a safety measure. It stands for something. Ironically, it stands for never slowing down. It stands for giving it all you've got when the world thinks you've got nothing left to give. And delivering products like the 23 Challenger SRT Demon 170. That is the quickest fastest, most powerful mass-produced vehicle in the world.